Hello everybody and welcome back and I'm super excited. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so the boys are in the bath and we are getting ready because we are going to the Unicorn Festival tomorrow. It runs all weekend long. I didn't know this was a thing, but it apparently is. So that's really fun and exciting. And my mom found it, bought the tickets, and was like, we have to go. Leviathan loves unicorns. So I was like, yes, absolutely, yes. So we're making sure that we're all nice and clean because it starts at 10 and it ends at five. I don't know how long we're gonna stay. Um, Levi is like just over a cold, so he might not be full energy yet. We'll see how he feels tomorrow while we're there. But yeah, I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm excited. He gets to go see real unicorns. Oh, he's gonna be so excited. He's gonna be so happy. I'm so happy. I also look crazy right now. What is going on with my eyeballs? That's besides the point. I'm excited. Alrighty, so I'm filming this in the future. Unicorn Festival has already passed, gone away. You might see a little bit of redness on my shoulders from being sunburned. Uh, but I wanted to talk about the days separately and kind of set everything up so what you guys are about to watch is day one and here's the little bit of clips that I caught. Are you ready to go see some unicorns? Yeah! I was trying to get your reaction. Are you ready? Yeah! Alrighty so right off the bat we were able to ride in a shuttle on the way and that was so much fun. The boys had an absolute blast being able to feel like they were on a bus. And we got there and it was so hot, sun was out, so we had to get some ices first. They were absolutely delicious and we got the refillable cups just in case we needed more. Um, and I picked blue raspberry, it was perfect. And we took them to a little bouncy house first because you know, something fun to do. Um, Elias absolutely loved it. His brother absolutely did not. <laughs> uh, Levi was kind of cautious for a good chunk of it. He tried to stay really close to all of us, as you can see here. Meanwhile, Elias was running and doing his thing and playing around. And You can kind of see him in the background chasing after Bubbles, but he is one of the further kids running after Bubbles. And eventually, my mom decided to walk to the other side while I sat with Levi which only lasted two seconds because Levi decided he needed to stay close to Grandma <laughs> and try and convince Elias to come back to the group, which did not work until he was thirsty and wanted to try a bunch of other things that he saw, of course, <laughs> which is what he's asking here. We also got to meet Lucky Star, who was one of the unicorns that actually had the most famous reputation. He was on America's Got Talent, which was pretty cool. And this was the part that I was absolutely excited for. And as you can see, Levi is just not having it. He did not like an actual unicorn. And now we're getting set up to meet the one, the only lucky star. <gasps> Handkerchief. I'm going to tie it around his front leg. 
And once it's tied, I'm going to stand up. When I stand up, that's your cue to start counting. We're going to see how many seconds it takes Lucky Star to untie the handkerchief. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, let's do this. easy for Lucky Star. Should we try something else? Should we make it a little bit harder? Yeah? yeah? Alright, let's see if we can try something harder. Again, when I stand up, that's your cue to start counting. Two, three, four, With the unicorn performance out of the way, we continued on to having more fun. They did the dragon themed obstacle course, which they were very excited for. I think it ended up being their favorite thing about the entire uh, unicorn festival, in all honesty. They really, really loved this thing. But I mean, they had so much fun. And they were just happy to be able to have things to play on, even though they had to wait in lines in order to play on all of them. And I mean, look at Elias right here, being such a good brother, making sure that Levi made it out okay. And then of course, Elias got to show off some of his karate moves, because they had a karate booth there, they were advertising for actual like, classes and stuff, but he had a lot of fun. And then I tried to record Levi pushing Elias on the swing, and they just decided to stop as soon as I pulled my camera out. <laughs> But yeah, that was day one of the Unicorn Festival, and this is just a look of back on the shuttle and what it looks like from afar when you're first pulling up to it or away from it. So, all the food trucks that were there, which that food truck at the very end right there, the captain, that's what I had from food. It was absolutely delicious. If you're ever in Colorado and you find the captain, I highly recommend. <laughs> So to sum up day one, we spent a lot of money, way more than we ended up needing to, and we found that out after, um, because after we arrived, we saw people that came in after us and slightly before us that came in with coolers. Whoa. I don't if I pass her. I don't know. You'll have to guess. See, huh? You're an evil girl, and when, when I pass you, you're going to jump scare me. I don't know. You'll have to wait and see, won't you? <laughs> that actually caught me good. <laughs> but yeah, um, everybody else was bringing in coolers, and we found out that. I see. We'll turn around. So, everybody else was bringing in food and stuff and making it a cheaper experience. Um, every food truck was relatively expensive. That's pretty standard for, like, events like that, though, right? 
Um, so we had a lot of cloud coverage and it rained on us five times that first day, like very light rains, very spring rains, which is hilarious because it's June. We're not meant to be getting spring rain anymore. It's June. Come on, Colorado. <laughs> but it was really, really nice. And even though we had all of that, my mother and I both still walked away completely sunburnt and the boys looked like they hadn't been outside at all that day. Just their same normal, slightly pasty selves. <laughs> and then we jumped into day two. Day two was a little bit more stressful. Uh, the boys had a really hard time getting ready in the morning. Like they just wanted to hang out and play and they, they wanted to go, but they didn't want to get ready to go. <laughs> you know, the average, average typical way toddlers are sometimes, especially when they know they have plans. So we had to combat that. And then where this video picks up, we were driving down the road getting to the festival. So this lady came and she got in front of us in the road, you know, pretty standard road thing, but she was like aggressively mad about it. Like we had to slow down a little bit um, because of how slow she was going and she just got really angry about it. She was like flipping us off and screaming at us and we were just so confused. I ended up pulling out my camera just in case we needed <laughs> evidence for the cops. <laughs> so that's where day two picks up. Enjoy. You would think that she thought we hit her car or something when she decided to hop over going as slow as possible in the lane. Right. Like, I was barely doing over 40. But you were also keeping up with traffic and still maintaining a fair distance from the car in front of you, etc. Yeah. So... Close to her car. No. And yeah. she's over here screaming and throwing her hand off. out to flip you off and like visibly screaming because her face was bright red. Yeah. Like good crazy. Goddamn crazy. Insanity. Freaking turned my camera on in case she started getting all <sighs> crazy and wild. I was like, oh, we should probably make sure we got evidence right? <laughs> for the police's. <laughs> Lady, we're just on our way to the Unicorn Festival. We're just vibing. Yeah. <laughs> we bought way too many snacks. Yeah. <laughs> we're just trying to go have fun. Why you gotta come screaming at us? Yeah. Oh, we if we wait for the back, the, uh, not the, the black one, because the white one was incredible. <laughs> Did you hear him? He It'd be cooler if we didn't get in the black one because the white one was incredible. Yeah, but he likes I the. This one. Yeah, yeah, I know. The back of it's very different. Oh, he's excited to see unicorns. That's good. Levi, I can't see you. Good. Okay. Mom, the handles, we can just hold on. I'm so glad they're ready for the unicorns. Mom, let's open these tables if we Okay. So day two, there was a lot more playing and things like that, so I just, there wasn't a lot of opportunity for me to do a video, so this is a much shorter day that you guys get to watch, but I wanted to share some of my favorite things that happened. A couple of people that were cosplaying as characters from Husband Hotel as well as a Hell of a Boss told me that they really loved my goth look, which was hilarious because... Uh, I changed, which you'll see later on, and so I was, like, mostly white, so they had to take a triple take to say, yeah, it was goth, um, which was funny to me, and there was also a point when a little girl was tapping on her mom and, like, mom, 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 and then her mom was like, what, and she goes, look, it's a scary witch, and it was just, it was really funny, I was like, I'm not scary, I'm not mean, it's okay, can I get a high five, like, I was trying really hard. But that happened while the boys were getting their balloon animals, which I filmed a little bit of here. Fun little turn of events. My original outfit was too hot, so I had to change. Now I'm in this. I can't really show it off. I'll show it off later. So, we left before we technically wanted to. Both boys got a little grumpy and a little way too much. 
but you know that happens with overtired children Hello. but we're home now that was day two of the unicorn festival i have stuff to show off that i bought that i shouldn't have bought but before i do that let me find a good spot to put this and i'll show off the dress this is the dress and i'm horribly sunburnt but like oh, how fun it's very flowy Okay, I almost forgot to film it. I'm sorry. I was about to go put stuff on, so I just set my phone down as fast as I could. Um, it was a little shop. It's an artist, and she goes by Useless Progress. And I will leave, like, the social stuff um, below so you can check it out if you want to. But I got a Zen Garden. I got a Mothman little art print and then she said if I liked the Mothman sticker I could have that too for free so I got this part for free and that's fun <laughs> lurkin 9 to 5 I had to not only is it Mothman but the lurkin 9 to 5 come on dolly ah! I was so happy so happy but yeah that's that's the things that I got and I'm really excited I can't wait to put this on my desk it's going to be so cute next to all my other Halloween things. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm happy. And I have to go put this on my laptop now. So, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll probably film my final thoughts about the Unicorn Festival. But also, that was a lot of money I just spent. But like, yay, supporting a local artist what matters day two the entire time that we were there we basically had no cloud coverage it was super sunny and yet none of us burned and a bite but yeah none of us ended up burning anymore um my mom and i got a little bit more red just because our sunburns were re-exposed but like there was no new tan lines based off of where our clothing was um i had an outfit change bought a bunch of stuff but ultimately, it was a lot of fun. Did you have a lot of fun at the Unicorn Festival? Yeah? Are you happy Grandma found that for you? I'm so glad. No. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I am linking the websites and stuff for the businesses that I mentioned by name. Um, as well as if I can find a website for the Unicorn Festival. So that way you can see it and see whenever it comes back. Um, but yeah, I'll leave all of that in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next week.